Hi, I'm Roman Yankovsky. In this short video, I will introduce behavior-driven development principles, tell a few words about Gherkin language and demonstrate how this can be applied to Delphi programming. We will discuss Delphi spec library. It doesn't depend on any operation system or particular compiler you use, but it is important to say that it uses Dunt or Dunt X infrastructure. So when Delphi spec works on the top of, of Dunt framework, it uses VCL and in this case it is Windows only. But the other option, Dunit X, makes it cross platform. So let's start. This is how traditional development process looks like. The business owner tells what he wants, and then the development team do their best to try to figure out what his exact requirements are. But the problem is they speak in different languages. Business owner speaks in terms of business value. Developers speaks in terms of programming structures. And finally, QA speaks in terms of test cases. Well, sometimes that works just fine, but sometimes not. So, what is this uh, BDD thing? How BDD could help? Behavior driven development is a collaborative approach to defining requirements and business oriented functional tests. As such, it is essential that the language used in the task description reflects the language used by the business users. The language and its grammar represents the shared understanding of the behavior between the business users and the development team. Shared understanding is a keyword. BDD provides the grammar, but the language is agreed between the business and the team. That's why we have, we have Gekken. Gekken is a domain-specific language that often used for describing software behavior and user scenarios. Actually, Gherkin is not a real programming language like Delphi or C++. It just specifies a certain formal structure for user scenarios. In terms of, of uh, BDD, any feature uh, can be described with only three sentences. In order to, as I want. For instance, in order to avoid silly mistakes, as a mass idiot, I want to be told the sum of two numbers. These three simple sentences have a formal structure and they describe the business value itself. They describe what the business owner really wants. Next, every feature has to be followed by an acceptance criteria or scenarios. Such a scenario or acceptance criteria has the following structure. It starts by specifying the initial condition that is assumed to be true at the beginning of the scenario. Then it states uh, which event triggers the action of the scenario. Finally, it states the expected outcome, given something when something happens. Then I get something. The scenarios are ideally phrased declaratively rather than imperatively. In the business language, there is no reference to elements of the UI through which the interactions take place. Here is an example, a scenario that describes a particular use case. And finally, the Delphi spec library can execute this scenario like a regular functional test. Now, Let's see how magic happens. So, uh, here is our feature. Let's make it work like a regular union test. As I said before, uh, Delphi spec uses unit infrastructure. Uh, it will read uh, the feature text in runtime from the specified directory and then create some number of uh, unit, unit tests. Uh, but now the project is empty and if I try to run it, it will not work. Class not implemented for feature calculator. So um, let's implement the class. Um, to make this happen, you have to implement so-called step definitions and then to spec will be able to execute the scenario like it was a regular unit test. Uh, 
Okay. Create a new event and um yes we use some units of course. Uh, step definition class uh, should be inherited from t step definitions and mark it as feature using appropriate attribute. At last, finally, we have to register it in the list of step definition classes. Oh yes, one more unit. Fine. Uh, Let's try again. Oh. We see a unit test. But uh, now if we try to run it, it will not work. Step is not implemented, so it's true. Uh, let's implement steps. Actually, it's easy. Uh, Couldn't be either. Uh, okay. Um, this uh, should work just in the same way, but to show you different options. Instead of typing uh, all the text in a procedural name, we can specify an attribute with some custom regular expression inside. The result should be some value on the screen and any name uh, ah okay sure fine uh now when we have um, test infrastructure we can implement uh, the calculator itself. Uh, let's make it as simple as possible. My favorite Delphi unit.
So our calculator have some list of numbers and a value. minutes Finally, we need some interface to access the value. Fine. Simple, simple, doesn't care. And as a regular unit test, uh, these uh, step definitions has uh, set up and tear down procedures to set some initial state and to free anything you want. So and now the simplest part of our work Okay, let's try. I'm scared a bit. <laughs> oh, fantastic. It works. It works like a unit test. But let's imagine that something go wrong. This definitely would fail. Nice. Just nice. Well, um, to see uh, some much more complex examples, um, just use the links on the next slide. Hope you like it. Uh, you can use links on this slide to download Delphi spec library itself, to view more samples and demos, and uh, to learn features that are supported by Gherkin language and uh, implemented in Delphi spec like uh, feature background or scenario outline or data table and uh, also please visit my blog to learn more about delphi spec thank you thank you all for viewing this bye brian said thank you very important topic cool uh, dante says thank you uh, stefan just said cool and fun uh, i agree it's always great to see the things that people are doing uh, in development and test-driven development
I'd heard of previously heard a little bit about uh, behavior driven development in Gherkin before, but I thought this was nice to see how it was implemented in Delphi and uh, see it actually implemented. Because before I just kind of had high level information about it, but to see it implemented is nice. One thing Roman did mention earlier is that um, he is looking at porting this to work with uh, D unit X instead of D unit since a lot of people are moving towards DUNITX, so that's something if you're interested in, in that, look forward to that as well. Lots of good comments from everybody. So again, great, and uh, thank you, Jim, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. There's the schedule for upcoming skill sprints. On Thursday, it's Data Snap uh, Calculator Service with Pavel, and uh, then next Tuesday, uh, MVVM, Model View, View Model Nick Hodges.